Right here is the first clip. See how it's over here? Move it up, wiggle. Put this up and over here. Next one, blue button. Press it in, squish. And there might be one on the other side, there is. So make sure you squish both blue buttons and it will move. Go ahead and take this bolt out. Because what we're gonna do is quickly remove the air box. Again, if you really wanted to fight with it, you could try to get your hand down there and not do this. I highly suggest you just do this. Seems like an annoyance now, but I'm telling you, after you do it and you have a little bit more room, just in case you drop a screw or anything, you'll thank yourself. Now that we've got my held of that one, See, yeah, one more right here. You can even leave these in the plastic, making sure we got it all. That one's still in. This one is loose. And that one is loose. This one, perfect. There we go. Perfect, put this off to the side. Next thing, grab this clip right here and we just wanna slip it up. Once that's slipped up, squeeze, leave this over here. Actually, you know what? You can do this with your fingers. Again, you don't have to undo the clamp all the way, just, I usually like to do it quite a few turns so that way it's nice and loosey-goosey. This I might have to get my other wrench for. For popping this out, pretty easy, just Take this, like that. This part can be a little bit more fun. Grab the black, slide it off. See, comes out easier. Grab this, pull up. Just need to get this free from right here and back here. Just lift on this arm. There we go, arms free, this is free. Lift this up, free this pipe. There we go. Pick up and out on an angle like that. It's gonna be hard for me to show you this with the camera in my hands, but shake up your throttle body cleaner. What I would do is just do this, hold this open with your thumb, spray your throttle body cleaner in there, and then if you have a toothbrush, you can scrub out the inside there. And also if you have a rag, go ahead and wipe up all the black residue. Make sure you clean this and the butterfly plate on both sides. And then after you're done, you can let go and then we'll assemble everything. Don't worry, it is gonna rough idle when we restart, but we'll go into that more later. Just attention and care. Sit there, spray. Don't have to go overboard and go ahead and just keep wiping away, making sure you do not rip your cloth. And if you do, get all pieces out of there. And if you can't reach it, use a vacuum cleaner. Trust me, it'll suck it out. Other than that, uh, the for the deeper cleaning, make sure you use the toothbrush so that way there's less chance of it getting caught in there because the last thing you want to do is start this thing with any piece of paper towel in there it'll get sucked into the motor and cause you a whole lot of heartache as you can see our butterfly plates also looking pretty good now we can start assembly and we'll put the air box back in and start it up make sure everything's out of your way that you can just loop that up there if you want now that we know everything's good to go bring it in on a bit of an angle. Make sure our plastic flap is open. Put it in. We'll suck this back up. Perfect. A little bit of finagling. Start this. You want that to pop back in, so. Perfect. This is back here. Put this in that little rubber lever down here. Just like this. Perfect. That's back in there. This sinks back onto here, and then this, we just have to compress down. Make sure we're all lined up on our rubber grommets, and if you sink it, it should sink, or set. Whatever way you wanna put it, I don't know. Anyways, as we set into our rubber grommets, there we go. Just like that. Okay, that's now set. This is right here. We can re-put this clip on our hook right here. This one after it sinks, just make sure it locks in. It should slide back into that position. Around it, this is locked in, perfect. Next, make sure you put your throttle sensor back on there, your math, sorry. And right there, time for the air filter. Just so, 
goes in like that. Then get your hand back here and you have to keep pressing until it flexes around those two clips right there. And then you slip it down and those two clips hold it sealed in right down there. So right there, just sink these screws in. Remember, it's just tying into plastic. No need to go He-Man. Just keep it nice and tight, but not over tight. So from here, we're gonna start it up. It might have a little bit of a rough idle only because I just cleaned the throttle body. Sounds good. We'll give it one sec here. Perfect. Started up first time when it didn't have the actuators done. Holy smokes, she wouldn't start at all. And now that the throttle body is clean and I have new actuators in there, Sounds great. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Like it if you did and subscribe for more.